Hello, this is Town here, Town is Music and Administrator of Graphic Cool Design Facebook Group. I'm going to show you how I do a video. Um, not necessarily a major brilliant one, but just an ordinary one. Right, so if I do an ordinary video, like say one of my studio, studio videos or some other kind of social feed video, what I do is um, I go onto my Vavi, just click on the icon and it'll come up. Then it says either open file or new file. I've clicked on new file and I'm on air now. This is your main screen and you've got your, where your media goes. You've got your timeline here and this is your um, preview area here. Right? Now, what I want to do is I want to add some files first. You can, if you wanted to, if you don't want to add files like that, you can add a folder if you need to add a folder of stuff you can do it that way um, at the moment I'm just going to add one file which is Valentine's Day there I'm going to add that one because that's a project I'm getting ready for Valentine's Day obviously because it's not far away now uh, as well as that what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back on there and right click add files now I want to go to a different area so I'm going to go on this PC and drag that down and go to my area where my own files are for my YouTube videos and that and I've got my trailer and my intros and outro um, packs here for different lines like the instrumentals, the animation intro, my custom intro which is what I need and if I uh, use the control key now I can click on that one as well and get the two of them together so that's what I'm going to do, right? If you're using um, an Apple-based PC or Mac, um, then you'd use Command instead, right? So I've done that, and they're both on as well, right? Now that's the intro and outro. So what I'll do is I'll drag the intro across and onto there, which is the video line. You've got a audio line here, and you've got the text line there, right? So I'm on the video line, which is right, and it's automatically come on to the preview area, and we can preview that if we wish. And that's just my normal custom videos intro, like that, right? Then, oops, I've done that again. So what I want to do is I'm just gonna um, in many parts of the world pull that on like that. So that's the Valentine's Day one. So that's quite a long film. Then I'm going to add my outro, which is that one I made from Create Studio. Right, so this one, I'm just going to go all the way to around the middle. Just wait, say I'm scrubbing, that's called scrubbing when you're moving the rubber across like that. It's called scrubbing, right? I'm scrubbing it to before it gets to those typed on words, because I don't want that on. I want to stop that doing that. So I'm going to cut that off. So we're going to use these scissors while it's selected there. Make sure nothing else is selected. Just select that, right, and that's it. And I've cut that off, that end. And what I just did, I just clicked on the side here to deselect the whole lot because I only want to select this bit. Now you can either right click and delete or you can go out to this bin here and delete that. Right, so now we've got it, got it going to there like that. That's all I need, that bit, right? Okay. Now say we've got the stuff on there, that's that's pretty easy. But say we wanted an intro title for this um part. So we want we need to put Valentine's Day as the title for the video. So um you can go to the titles here and you can choose one or they've uh, released new intro videos for the title so we can do that um let's do that right so we, there's a ton of different ones you can use here for christmas and other different things there so you know let's have a look see if there's something nice there right so there should be something with a heart on somewhere let's just have a look see if we can find something i think we've gone past it there's one here with a heart on somewhere. I'm sure there is. Right, there, there. That one will do. That looks pretty good. So we're going to put that one on. Right. Now, t 
to change these you have to click on it because there's a little like, pencil there that means edit so you go into edit mode on there and it's got two different parts see how look so you've got two different um, text parts on it right so if you click on the bottom one that's the top one so I want to put Valentine's on there unfortunately me uh, keyboard isn't working very well I just wait for that to work whoops as you can see this is part of my problem it's making it very difficult for me to do anything right at the moment I am waiting for a new one to come and uh, hopefully she'll be here today with any luck but it's it's doing me head in at the moment there Valentine's right so that's that one so I've done that one so I'll apply that one and we'll go click on that one and then just put day on that one Valentine's Day right so that looks pretty cool okay I've just done that I don't need to do that get that off apply that and then apply and return so that should be all right now so that should go like that Valentine's Day yeah in many parts of the world Valentine's okay, Day right. is an event all right so as you can see there's now now music on that is there let's have a look see if there's any music on there should be music on that hang on let me just uh, turn this up to as high as I can so I can hear it of an affection for one another oh there is there's some music on there. In, in many parts of the world Valentine's Day is an event that brings okay right now as you can see we've gone through the intro onto the title intro now what I usually do if I have a title intro like this what I do next is I put a title outro for the credits on after so we know it's that one anyway so we put that one in there like that but obviously the credits ain't going to be the same right the credits are going to be longer and it's going to be a lot more to it than that so it goes there and then so what I need to do with this I need to go into this one edit this one so I'm going to try and see if I can stretch it if you can't stretch it like that what you need to do is take them over this way a second go over there obviously when you get to that stage we're gonna to have to just leave that as where it is and then all I do is I do use a snapshot like that and put that as I usually put that as snapshot and if there's one there I just replace it usually but you got to watch sometimes if you uh, need the snapshot for something else you could ruin your other project so you gotta be careful what you're doing I've already done the other project so I'm okay right so now what we do is now we've done that we've done the snapshot we can go out of that for a minute and add file and then look for a snapshot on where you've saved it which is gonna be on my desktop for me that's where I usually save my stuff is on there so there it is like that and then you add that to and then pull that over so you make that a bit longer then because that's just a picture so you've got it long enough for your title right now say you want to do a special effect I'd like say you only wanted the titles to come through from there the, the, the credits to come through from there and up but you don't want it to come down the bottom here to do that you'd have to go into um, an image editor take out this area and or any other top area and cut that off right and then put it on not on here but on the um, the normal track when you get out of this that's how you do that right so what we're going to do first before we do anything like that 
I'm going to go back over to the titles. I've got my title here, which is my credits. I've got a, um, a standard credit I've already made. So it saved me messing about t typing everything all the while. So I've, I've done that. So that's fairly standardized. I do have to change bits on it, but you know, it's making it a lot easier for me to do it, you know, uh, like that, standardizing it. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to change my titles on my standardized ones to the, the titles they've got for here. So I, this needs to be open sans, so I'm going to take that to open sans up there. So it's the same as what's on me title. Open sans. No, that's not the one. There's a, there's two lots of open sans. There's the initial set of open sans, and there's this set which is the the newer set, I think, because you've got two lots of a. A to Z's on here, so you have to try and find the one that's up and sounds that's the one, right? So I've got that one for that, and I need to do it with that as well. So that needs to be up and sounds up there. So we know it's just the first lot of them. So we go from there down to O, up and sounds there it is, right? That, like that. Now I've got to take the outline off for both of them because. The other one didn't have out, uh, outline on it and the colour was white. It was white anyway, so that's fine. So all I need to do is get rid of them now. Delete them. Like that. And pull this bit more forward because it was about there, wasn't it? Wait a minute. Yeah, right like that. Right now, I might need to change the size of that to a bit smaller. So to do that, you click on it again and you bring that that way like that, so it's there right so we go like that i might just take it there a bit more then change the size of that to 150 or something because that's too big anyway like that now this one we've got to do the same with this so we're going to do change that to 100 at least right now we're going to I'm going to pull it up for a moment because I need to pull it up to find the middle. You'll find the middle dots on either side of these in a minute. There, you can see them dots there. Look, one dot there and one dot there. Right, so if we pull that in, make it smaller. Yeah? And we, I've lost the dots now, I know they're there. Right, so we need to pull that smaller still. Like that. Try and get it in that area if I can. And then I need to bring that back down, right? As you can see, I've got the shadow of your smile on there, which is uh, one of the uh, tunes I I done a while back. Um, but it, it, it's it's just uh, my basic introductory um, titling for the credits and stuff like that. I've kept that one on because it was pretty good. It got most of the stuff on. So all I do then is just change that to what I want so right so what I'm gonna do is custom video boy oops as you can see I'm having trouble with me um, keyboard is very doing me editing it misses off then letters most of the time so that's why I need a new one I've even got sticky keys on it and it still ain't helping very much so I'm just waiting for my new keyboard to come so obviously with it being um, an, an amalgamation of two different kinds of things what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off courtesy off there Mind you, I don't need to do that. What I need to do is put um, video created using and I'll put video created using video created and background music.
video created and back my courtesy of Mavavi Video Suite. Two oh twenty two. There was someone else as well, um the other program I used. So I need to put the other one. Top courtesy of Studio Studio and that's it. Courtesy of Studio because Studio was the main program I used because that was all the middle bit. Right, so I've got to put that one first. Right. Now that's what I've done so far. So let's have a look at that from there. Let's see how that goes from there. That's nearly the end. Right? Valentine's Day. Right, now that's just doing this bit. So to show you what the credits look like. Now that is okay, but it's not coming in the area where I want it to because obviously it's coming down the bottom, right? If I wanted to get that through, I need to use the image, an image tool. Take a, take the photo of that and use that photo to cut out this area, and maybe cut, leave it all up there so it'll come out with like coming out of that box area there. I could do that if I wanted to, right? But I don't need to do it for this particular um, tutorial. Right, and that's my outro there as you can see that's that's nice right now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add um, transitions to the area so I'll click on all and we go through them and um, we can add any of these that we want to like that one there just click it click on it and drag it and then that one there drag that one to there don't need any more till we get to near the end really unless you unless you really want to make it jump out at a certain area or something which is it's okay if you want to do that but i don't really need to do that right so let's get to the end here and let's put these lines on there so that's your transitions on now this area here has got no um music on or anything and neither has the front end there, right? So we put some music on from Mavavi uh, in a moment, and I'll show you how to clip it and everything. Uh, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the music that's on there at the moment, like this, right? And I'm going to select it all. There's a good way of doing it is to just select it all like that. I'm, I'm only meaning to select the music, so if that one's not on, that's fine, right? Because I want to do this right i want to get a audio editing equalizer and i've already set a preset for my, my preset one which is at that height so it's like between three and five uh minus for three decibels basically that's what i've put it at so all these now have got minus three decibels on them so that's how they're not so loud right so i'll just show you Right, that's knocked them down a bit, right? So now when I get me new music, I need to change them to um, whatever that I think they should be. Because if you have a look, they've got this little, little board here at the side that shows you how, how loud it is. I want to get the same sort of level as that with the music that I'm going to do, uh, going to put on, like, you know. Okay, so we'll go to the music then. The music's here. There's different kinds of music. Let's just do... Let's have a look at Awakening. No, that's too, too fast for what I want. Let's do something a bit... Let's try Candlelight. Oh, let's just try Candlelight. Already. Yeah, that's better. I'll just do that one and put that there. Obviously, I've got my sound up really high at the moment. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to that's the candlelight there underneath and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag this end back to where i need it at the moment on there right like that don't worry about that anyway all i've done is just drag it across so it's cut it down to there to that size for me right and what i can do now with this is i can do click on these three bars going across there like that 
and then I do a fade in. I usually do one minute fade in, one second fade in, and two seconds fade out. Right? Unless I'm doing something like um, me actually being on a video, then I'll fade in and fade out for two seconds for both. That way it usually works out pretty good. But when it comes to like the intro music, I'll do one in and two out, especially when it's there, because it's that rain a lot there. So let's just have a look, see how that looks so far. It's going to be a bit loud, so. Yeah, so that's, that might be okay. I might just have to get away with just doing um, thingy on that. Just knocking it down by using my preset one on there. Should be okay with that. That'll be, yeah, that'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. Yeah. Usually I don't put it on that. I usually put it on four. I'll try four. Let's have a look at four. Right, so we go off there. Whoops. Oh, clicked on the wrong thing. Which happens quite a bit, usually, for me. Yeah, actually, I think that's better, actually. I don't want it to be over. In many parts the of the world. Right, so we'll go over to this part here. Uh, that's where we want to put the other stuff from there to there. Right, so instead of actually just dragging the one, we can just click on this and just go copy and then go over there and then paste. Obviously, it's going to be small, but you can still drag it back out. So once you're dragging it back out, it will matter. It'll be all right. Because if as soon as you look at that, it'll show you the same thing, so it'll still work for that. And you've already got the um, the preset on, so it should be okay. That should be fine. Like that, yeah. That looks pretty good. Um, all I need to do now is. Um, Render that really to that be a, a work in progress already done, right? So that that'll be done. The only thing I want to do is I'm going to um, change this so that the words come out of there. I think that's what I'm going to do. So if you want to uh, watch me do that, let's do that now, shall we? What I need to do is go on to Affinity Designer, right? When this comes on. It'll be in a second, it won't be long, hopefully. Yeah, it's coming on in a minute. Come on. I should have left it on and I forgot. Never mind. But uh, we can get it on in a sec. I'm just going to do a new document and the standard preset for Doodly, which is 1920 by 1080, is. I made that myself, so it's right. That is, it works for Doodly, so um, I just need it for this anyway. So I'm going to click on that picture um, thing. It's uh, I forgot what it's called now. I forgot what it's called. Never mind. Oh, I've had a he heavy uh, week, so you have to give it up for me on that score. That's what I brought on, right? So it's called the picture place image tool, right? Yeah, that's it. So I've got an image there, right? What I need to do is get the box shape, put the box shape up here. Obviously, it's covering that at the moment, but I ain't going to worry about that yet. And I'm just going to make sure it's the full page, right? Now, what I need to do is put that snapshot in there then I need to drag the snapshot so what I'm going to do is click on the snapshot drag it to the full size of that right there's a reason for this if you try doing it without that without the box shape it doesn't work I've tried it you have to use the shape in order to use the um, boolean tools to take one off another thing take one thing off a picture anyway take a picture and take part of a picture off right that's what i mean 
deployed so now what we can do is can either cut this area out using um, we could use this actually so I need this particular piece here which is a trapezoid tool right so we're gonna do that use that trapezoid tool we can bring it up first so it's up to there and we can bring that across because there's a red mark there the red dot we'll put it across there like that right, so bring that out slightly or right and then we can go let's go this way a little bit more and then take that that way a little bit that's about as best we can do I think then what I'm gonna do once I've done that is I'm gonna hold that to that then I need to click on that and use convert to curves and I'm gonna click on that there click on the now tool first sorry I miss I forgot to do the now tool when it working that's it now I need to click on convert to curves and click on the now tool right there we go now we do covered that area right more or less okay that's more or less right pull that in a little bit there okay right so now we've done that we can either have it just going through this area where just the um, the title will just come through there and disappear off there so you won't see it there or there which you could do that or I could just take this right to the top from there. Actually, I, I, I ain't done that right. Hang on. Or I could just take this right to the top up here, like that, and go off there and take that up to the top. Go off there instead. And just do that. And I'll be coming, just showing all the way up there the text. But I'm going to do it the box way so you can see what I mean right so it's in the box not anywhere else so if it's in the box what you need to do with this is before when you save it save it as a different thing to the snapshot don't save it as the same as a snapshot otherwise you'll ru ruin your thingy on uh, the video right so I'm just saying how you could do it. You could you could have done a, a rectangle all the way up, and it'll go up like say it's coming out of the box and up that way. Or you can have it in the box like this, right? So now I've done that. What I need to do is click on that first, and then I do select all. So it should select everything. Oh, it hasn't selected everything. Hang on. Oh, no wonder I've got this in the wrong place. Look, I've got that in the wrong place. That needs to be out of that area. That's naughty me that is, I'll keep doing that. Right, select all. Now you've got the subtract tool, so subtract the middle bit. Now save the file or export it. Uh, selection only. Right, and then you, you can save it as, let's have a look see what we got. Let's do snapshot two, right. Let's just save it as that. So we can get rid of that other one. So we've done that other one already. Right, so now I've done that. Now we can get out of this and go back into Mavave. And go back into Mavave and go into that one. Right. So now we're back in Mavave. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to Media Files and go down here file import I mean right uh, add file and we're going to find that 
file which is snapshot 2 there it is and that should be clear and just put that on top of here Get it up there like that right now what we need to do is just find where the credits start right so we need to go there about there right so we take it right to the beginning there and stretch it along to about there ish right now as you will see when I do this now it will only show it in the box yeah that's pretty cool isn't it now once you've done that and make sure you're happy with what you got then you can export it and that will be it then it'll be a job done so um, that's what I'm going to do and that'll be ready for next week so I'll be ahead with that one thankfully and I thank you for watching my uh, um, tutorial and I hope you'll uh, like and subscribe to Tony Music thank you very much